Laplante, one-on-one -on -one with Horn, tries to use the net as a prop. Horn tries to disrupt the play. Laplante comes out with it. Here he comes over all three lines. Laplante in the shuffle, tries to get it settled with the backhand, drops it off, finds Lake. One-time shot, they score. On the back door, the Aces finally get a shot to go, and with 14-31 left in the game, Alaska strikes first. It's 1-0. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a backdoor play, and you really have no chance. Uh, just rapid say you didn't see that guy uh, on the backdoor side, and uh, it's, 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 it's a tough play to, to save for a goaltender to get all the way back. You have to take the shooter, and... Uh, it's uh, it's just a missed man uh, on, on the defensive side for Rapid City. That car plays the puck in a dangerous area up the near side. It comes to the blue line. Oh, it's a star! That puck may have been deflected by Ryan Mijak. And with 13.56 walk to the game, we are square one. Oh, what a way to respond after letting in a goal. You get right back on your horse and uh, able to pop one pass. And uh, obviously it all started Kevin Carr just with a kind of a a mistake off the boards and it goes right back to the rush uh, D zone and able to shoot it on net. It looked like I think uh, Miziak or Walters might have tipped that in front though uh, from the shot. Nonetheless, uh, Rapid City ties it up. Yeah, Miziak's right there. I'm not sure if it goes off of him. The way it reacted, you'd have to think it did. But what a shot by Terrence Wall and not only rotating to the blue line, Getting it through. You get the shot through, anything can happen. And the puck comes back up the near wall of the rush zone. Here comes Walters. He got by his man. He's short-handed two on one with Mijak. Walters, delay shot. Four! The captain goes short-handed. And with 3.51 left in the game, the rush are on top. It's 2-1. to one. <laughs> Unbelievable. All started by number 29 with a humongous save on, uh, on Tim Wallace. And the play gets... Uh, tied up and uh, all of a sudden two on one and uh, you know Ryan Walters is going to shoot. He's a goal scorer. He's going to keep that puck. He has uh, Miziak with him but uh, big shot, big goal. We, uh, You called it Benetti. Shorthanded goal. There it is. 2-1. The Rush have the lead. They're not out of it yet. Still a buck 25 to kill off. 351 left in the game but the captain once again top shelf. My goodness, that's two games in a row where he's done that exact same thing. He's had the rush, he's had the numbers. One was on the power play, and now he's short-handed. So all we need is even strength, and he's hit for the cycle. Puck comes back behind the net. Here comes Tyler Bishop, the rookie from New Jersey, up the far wall. Hunter Fiegis, nice area pass, didn't make his intended target. It comes to Sam Perrin. His shot is stopped by Adam Morrison, and he hangs on for a whistle with 17. 39 left in the first, and number 29 keeps this one scoreless. Wazlowski finally hands off to somebody not named Michael Young. That's Ryan Walters who gets the deflection. Puck is turned over. Wall and a backhander couldn't get it to go. Oh my goodness. The Aces just avoided absolute catastrophe. But the puck comes to Van Allen. Here come the Aces on the rush. Van Allen hands off. Ben Lake throws it out front. Van Allen kicked aside by Adam Morrison. And the puck comes right back up to the near wall. It's kept in by Navin. His shot gets deflected. Another chance in front off the crossbar. And the puck right back to Mitch Jones. To Van Allen on the blue line. His shot goes wide to the near corner. Here comes Navin. He finds Olchek. His shot knocked aside by Morrison again. And the puck comes right back in a rush possession. And Nick Miglio takes it in his own third off the glass. Played on out in a neutral ice. A great defensive stand from this rush club. And even better goaltending from number 29. Back down the near wall finds Mijak. Backhanded to the blue line. Wallen is there. Shot got through. Deflected. Parked and stuck aside by Kevin Carr. Oh my goodness. Plays it in the near corner. Wards off a hit. Ortiz from behind the net. Misses a dangerous hit. Puck comes up to the blue line. The other shot misses the net. And now Logan Nelson comes to the defense of Ortiz. He's in a scuffle. Oh, my goodness. The st clock stops with 6.13 left. Nelson has been late, and he absolutely destroys him. My goodness. And this crowd is on fire. 6.13 left in the first. And number 19 goes to the penalty box with two zeros on either side of the scoreboard and a raucous home crowd. Fredo, he unwinds. Rips his shot. Stopped by Carr. Puck is still loose, and he is sitting on it. And we got to stop. No, the puck went in. Our ref is not going to signal a goal. And now it looks like everybody except two gentlemen on the ice has a dance partner. Now Mitch Jones and Anthony Collins are going at it. 4.31 left in the first. Still scoreless. Rush still on the power play. And now Collins and Jones are going head-to-head. -head. Collins landing every single shot. Jones out there like a rag doll. This is absolutely no contest. And Anthony Collins finally flings him to the ice. Let the Georgia scorecard reflect the victory by virtue of technical knockout for number 48. Once again, he goes to the penalty box, and he 
is is met with raucous applause. <laughs> Back to Mackenzie Stewart. We go for the aces. Puck sent up ahead. He finds Tommy Olchek. Olchek has Kaufman driving. Gets the rips a shot and he scores. Tim Kaufman came streaking down the middle, gets the pass from Tommy Olchek, and with 3.31 left in the first, two nights in a row, Alaska has a 1-0 lead. Michael Young's there, gets by one attacker, lost the puck, and look out. Here come the aces up the ice. They have numbers. Daniel Moynihan drops it back. It's Wallace down low. Backdoor shot, knocked aside by Morrison. Puck's played up to the blue line. Tim Wallace in the fray as well. Puck comes free. It's Ryan Walters. He comes two on two with his former college teammate, Michael Young. Walters over the blue line. Fakes the handoff. Goes with his backhand. Throws it on that. Score! The captain with the backhander ties the game up. And with 9.26 left in the second, we are square. Sam Pair behind the net. Half lap around the zone. Leaves it. From Moynihan, sent to the near corner. Tyler Shaddock's there. Centering pass, found a man, he scores! Charlie Samper came into the low slot. He fired on net. And with 1820, excuse me, 18.38 left in the game, Alaska's back on top. It's 2-1. To Rebound comes right back to the far side of the Aces zone. Chipped on out in the neutral third. Weslowski's there. To Nelson on the near wall. Shoveled up ahead. It's Michael Young. Young gets by his man. Takes the shot. No! Michael Young doubles the rush score. And with 16.59 left in the game, we are square two. Five. Bucks played behind the net. First one to it, Steven Tarasuk. Blows out a tire. It was Hunter Fijis back out in the neutral zone. We go look out. Tim Kaufman, he is off to the races. All alone shot, and he scores. Tim Kaufman with a second of the game puts the Aces back on top. And with 16.28 left in the game, Alaska now has a 3-2 lead. Wallace over the blue line. Hands off, Tim Kaufman looking for the hat trick. He goes to the blue line. Chase Van Allen, DDD pass. Tarasuk down low. Kaufman a shot, he scores. It's a power play goal. Tim Kaufman gets the hat trick, and with 15.47 left in the game, it's now 4-2 Alaska. Puck is blocked by Young. It comes free. LaPlante off the side of the net. He found a man in Kaufman. Kaufman, another try denied by Morrison, and he hangs on for a whistle. My goodness, number 29 with a massive stop for this Rush Club, and with 4.04 left in the game, he keeps it a two-goal deficit. Here comes Wallace. He throws it back. Has a man, Jan Pavel LaPlante. Couldn't get a shot to go. Mijak up ahead. He finds the captain. Walters has a break in the lane. Walters with a nifty move. Hands off. Wislowski. Score! Riley Wislowski from the blue line. Puts the rush down by one. And with 2.14 left in the game, Alaska's up 4-3. Oh, what a move by number 88, Ryan Walters. What a little spinorama. I didn't see that one coming and feeding, uh, trailing uh, Riley Wislowski. And... He, uh, he doesn't get those chances too often, but right there when you need him, he's there to bury it and get him within one. you got a heck of a hockey game now. 2.14 left in the game. What do we talk about with Ryan Walters? Eyes in the back of his head. There's Riley Wislowski. Like you said, he doesn't get many chances like that, but he sure as heck buried. That's his second goal of the season, and boy, is it a big one. Yeah, it is a big one. Uh, a couple leaders there in the hockey club trying to spark something here with two minutes. Just over two minutes left, so um, this is a perfect opportunity. You didn't leave it till the last second. You got that uh, a much needed goal to get you one uh, that one closer. So to Horn, played for Cooper. Cooper on for Nelson couldn't get the shot to go. It's gloved out by Tim Wallace. He plays it out the full length of the ice. Here comes Steven Terrace, sucked for the empty net to Daniel Moynihan, and he missed the shot. Here comes Moynihan now with the puck. We've got to stop on the play with 37.2 seconds left in the game, and yeah, they're gonna they're gonna award the goal because the stick was thrown. Yeah, Mikulovic threw his stick, and uh, you know, obviously you're in frustration, but uh, you got to be aware that that's a, that any time you do that, that's a that's an automatic goal. It's in the rule book, so um, unfortunate break. Just uh, you got to be smarter than that, I guess. Uh, you, you can't be doing those things.